Hello, hello, number two planting, number two repotting today. I've just done my uh, Swiss cheese Adansoni into a bigger pot. And again, today I'm going to do this lovely um, neon pothos into this lovely bigger pot, which is the same pot as the um, Swiss cheese Adansoni. So I have two plants, two planters of this type. So I'm going to use these. I've already mixed the soil. Um, which you would have probably already seen it if you had subscribed to my channel so just to recap this is a premium soil where it's about let's say 30% uh, premium soil 30% a fer ber fer um, perlite also a burkumulite and a, s a handful of charcoal crush up as well as a little bit of sand and some uh, handful of blood and bone so the soil is really mixed so when it's put in the pot it will give us aeration um, a little bit of sphagnum moss as well just to keep the moist in the soil so it doesn't get too over dry as well as some charcoal to to help us with um, with the plants are being able to uh, what do we call it um, breathe in antifungal um, assistment as well as the perlite which gives the plant um, excellent aeration and drainage, a good drainage for the soil. Now for the sand I put the propagation sand just to um, encourage the, the roots to grow without being so hard to get through the soil. Um, which, which of course it helps a lot. Um, also, I also add a vercumulite, which also again improves the moisture retention and aeration and damage. So I'll just put a little bit of everything so, um, so the plant is happy. So all right, so let's let's do that. Let's get rid of this um, planter thing that they got in here. Let's be careful not to damage my lovely new collection, my very first um, Neon Pothos. This is my very first one that's actually long and established. I did have some cutting, but unfortunately there's only a little bit left as I had it propagated during winter, or I bought propagated during winter. And somehow I just didn't survive the cold. Um, I do have a little bit left, but it's struggling, but hopefully it'll get better now that it's spring. So as you can see, this lovely um, established plant I have got, and I've been meaning to repot. And now I have the time, or oh, I'm making the time. So well, let's see how many, uh, how many vein is in this pot. So there's one. That's a nice, decent size. That's two. Oh, I got three. Excellent. There we go. So how is that? And some babies as well. This one's got a new one growing in there, so that's quite happy. So hopefully, while I transfer into a bigger pot, it will be even happier. So what I might do is do two in one pot and keep the other one on a different pot. Um, and then I might be able to share it with other people because I don't need too many I just need a couple so all right guys so let me uh, put some soil in our lovely pot let's just pop this one out so this is the climber but I noticed that the plant didn't actually like this one it didn't actually dig its um, roots in there or it, it did have roots so I'm going to make one myself I might use the inside, but this bit here is really tough. Tough for the plants to get in. So I don't think I'll be using that, but I'll be using maybe the actual stick or pipe that's in there. Okay, so let's just take it out of the soil, out of the pot. Squish it. Try not to hurt the plant. And there we go. So let's 
do that and I will put back, I'm going to put my gloves on because it's quite uh, messy. So just bear with me. Alright, so this is, let's just shake it all about. Um, as you can see, their, their actual soil that they use is very similar to mine, see? It's got some moss, uh, it's got some cocoa peat in it. It has some orchid mixed, some perlite, and of course premium, so it's very similar. See, you can't even tell, well, a little bit different, but still, still pretty good. So let's just grab this one, this is the one with the baby, but the smaller one. So I might put this one back in the idle pot. So I'll just leave that for now. There. And while I'm preparing my pot, I am going to soak this 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 plant just to give it a drink. Okay, so let's grab some water. Okay guys, I'll just grab some of my fish water. Yes, I do use my fish water. I love my fish water for my plants because they seem to love it. Um, nice and fresh with their dropping and leftover food to give them extra nutrients. So I'm just going to let my plants have a drink there for 5-10 minutes. Well, I put some water, in, uh, put some soil in my actual pot. So let it just have a drink. Not too long. I don't want to have rotten uh, rot roots. And add my little baby one over here that I've got. That's lovely. So I'll have that one in a separate pot together with my other one that I put behind me. Okay, let's just let them have a drink for five ten minutes so that I don't have to water the plant too much when I pot it okay so all right let's just leave it there and let's put some let's put back this lovely mixture of potting mixed that I have pre-made um, mixed together with the original there we go so let's do that so guys give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and please view all my other uploads for more ideas and just sharing because I do love sharing and I hope you guys enjoy watching it at the same time um, I also learn from other people so I hope you also learn from me um, you know especially with this lockdown the coronavirus we are obviously stuck at home so we got time to do some planting Mind you, I only just started doing my propagation this year, so and I have collected quite a few. So imagine if I was doing it for, for a very long time, OMG. So anyway, that's why I've started to share some of my plants to people, so that I can also buy the plants that I don't have yet. So if I have bought something and they have more than one, then I share it, so in that way I can also um, buy the other plants that I want and other people can see and have the plants that I've got that they don't have so okay that should be enough for now and, and put our uh, plants in so let's choose I'm going to choose the long one there we go so one on one side And what I might do is grab a climber on this side. I should have another one somewhere. Okay, I have a long one. 
in here which I will use for the longer one and just the temporarily for now because I am going to build my own climber so let's just pop that one in there I have a few clips that I have borrowed from the other plants that it doesn't need any so this is what I will be using so let's do the clipping just one sec okay so let's place this lovely vine plants called neon pothos into this planter I've got it there I've got a longer version in here which is there right there trialing away um, like I said I'm going to build my own planter and uh, my own pole so climbing pole so I will be um, doing that later on I've got a few plants that needs building a pole so but for now we'll just use this plastic climbing um, that comes with the other plants so I'll just borrow that for now because I don't need it for the other plants so now i um, just going to make sure that I placed it in the right spot and not being pulled and damaged so let's just place that there and put a little bit of soil so it stays in place maybe separate it a little bit too far give it a bit of room to grow its own roots not fighting for space okay these my lovely plants I hope I hope I don't bloody kill this one because um, you know they're very touchy as well if you put too much water they get uh, they don't like it so you need to be careful when you're watering I almost lost my clip so I'm just gonna place all the soil around it and then I'm gonna place these lovely plants into the climber maybe not cover it the leaves with soil that would be good fortunately it's when you're planting, there's always a chance of damaging the leaves. Um, especially when you're videoing at the same time. But it's okay, I am actually quite glad to do this. and showing you guys my way of doing things, how I do my plantation. And I hope that you will inspired by this and also do your own. So in that way you can have these lovely beautiful plants inside your house and you don't have to go outside to enjoy the nature. You can actually have one on your own, which I have discovered myself. Well, now that I'm at home all the time, I might as well do something else. And this is one of the stress relievers things to do at home, especially with these uh, lockdown constantly in lockdown now according to the news we are in lockdown until September now and so we're stuck at home again we're actually on a complete lockdown where um, only the necessary workers like doctors nurses transport are able to go out and unless you got a good reason a definite good reason as in food important stuff um, you're allowed to go and uh, to go out but only within five k's of your residential premises so it's really enough to go do food shopping so I will be doing some food shopping today and I shall try to video it um, if I can so here we go guys this is my lovely new plants that I've added into my collection so in the meantime, I'm going to stuff this thing here. So I might grab a couple of yarn to um, tie it up so it looks much nicer. Because I don't know when I'm going to be able to do my um, actual uh, pull because I do have quite a few bit to do. And I wanted to do something different. So I want to crochet my, my planting pole together with um, the sphagnum moss, the dry one as well as the cocoa hash so i want to see how that goes because i've never actually done it but that's my idea so i'm gonna try that today this tonight maybe so and then i'll show you so keep an eye on my upload and you'll see my lovely lovely poll if when i do get the chance to do it so here is my beautiful neon pothos 
isn't that beautiful look at these lovely leaves absolutely gorgeous this lovely yellow variegation or yellow coloring so how's that now let me hang that one up and I'll show you when it's done okay I actually found some stick that I can use for now temporarily for now so I'm just going to go remove these because it's a little bit short I don't want to have to coil it or fold it so I'm just gonna grab this stick here and just pop it in there nice and firm and I will put some cocoa hash on this one later on to and that one's a little bit deep just oh that one's longer than the other one so let's just they were all the same size okay here we go now let's just make that one a little bit more sturdy okay I have found some yarn that I can uh, tie my plant with so temporarily secure in there um, even if I don't get to it for a little, little while, they'll be fine because they're in the nice um, soil already. So I'll just clean up my little planter, my pole. Okay, so I have secured it in there. Might need to dig it a bit more so it can actually hold itself. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you how I do it okay this is actually a perfect yarn to be using for my when i do my crochet my planter so but for now i'll just use it to um secure my plants so i'll just tie it on the base my little diy idea and these plants this actual yarn is perfect color it just suits the plan and it will just look nice so let's just do that for now. Let's try to uh, clean up my lovely neon pothos. Okay. So let's do, let's place it like so. Make sure that we're not squishing the leaves or anything else so I might just get some help with my actual clip there just for now and then oh, I'm gonna find it very difficult to go around so I might just cut it up make it easier for me to wrap around Sure that I'm not tying the leaves I don't want to damage the leaves there you go guys it's just my temporarily temporary um, climbing idea tying the actual plant vine into the the little planter now I haven't done it tightly I just have it loosely so I don't damage the plant so there you go this is my very first planter so let's just tie that one in here just for now while I'm doing a lot of other things at the same time just don't have the time to make the climber yet so but I will so there's one done that leaves will come up trying to search for the light so it's down at the moment because it was climbing up downward before in the original planter so let's do the second one which I have here 
I'm just going to clip it at the top. And then again, grab some of my yarn. I'll do a little bit longer this time. I got myself cut short than the other one. Yes, yeah, so I love this little yarn. I'm going to use this one for my my uh, DIY crochet planter climbing. So that will be my little thing. So let's tie another one on the bottom if I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Just nice and loose, but not too loose. Okay, so let's wrap this around this lovely pole just to get our plants nice and straight. And even if, like I said, even if I don't have the chance to. get this one climbing the climber build up at least it's it's up in this pole the ground that the vein is not crumbled up in the ground nah. show you up a little bit There you go. Lovely. It looks great. I'm loving it. So guys, then can do your own climber for next to nothing. You don't have to spend too much money to get your stuff done. So I'm just going to wrap that around the top because I will need that for some more. Um, so let's get rid of that thing my uh, climber is not very 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 strong but that's okay so I'm just gonna wrap this one around here there you go. can you see that just to get my two climbers stand by side by side there we go excellent looking good Let's pop this one in here. Don't damage the young leaf. My little one. Go as they go along. I will uh, maybe just put it across so they stick together. How's that everybody? Do you like my little idea? <laughs> I know it's just simple but I tell you what it looks great now yes, I'm firm I think I hope let's just push that one a little bit so it's nice and firm on the ground there you go. Here's my beautiful, newly paint planted neon pothos. So I'll just grab a little bit of soil off the, the vein. Not too much. We don't want to uh, skipping there for. We don't want the leaves to get rotten. So I'll just do that. Now I'll just put a little bit of water because I have actually put some blood and bone and I want it to soak into the um, the plant the roots so let's just grab the water that I soak it with and reuse it it's a little bit dirty but that's okay it's only soil and then there we go I might need a little bit more and go guys so let's grab some more water in my fish tank right next to me 
Okay. Just gonna give it a drink. And then not give them a drink for a week. You don't want to over water your plants. So there you go. There is my beautiful neon pothos in a temporarily temporary primer all right so even if like i said I'm not going to be able to do it soon it'll be okay in this one so let me just wash off the water off the leaves we don't want it soaking on the leaf because it is still a little bit cold and i don't want my plant to die so i just and get rid of some of the soil that is splatter all over the leaves now I have my own very own neon pothos climbing plants as I didn't have it before and I am going to repot the other one and share it with other people because I've already got what I want and I have a spare one because this one comes with three in one planter actually four with a tiny one and that I can also share so I don't need to have another one unless of course no one wants to buy it that's okay that's fine by me too but I'm sure there will be others because not everyone has the same and I know people are looking for this as well so oops I think I just damaged the leaves too much love is no good either isn't it so I have got another plants outside, my other planter. I will show you my other climbing plants after I finish this. I might find another stick to put my uh, Adansoni Swiss cheese because I didn't hang it up when I finished repotting today. So I might do the same just for now while I don't have an actual climbing build up for it. I mean this plant doesn't have any roots in the actual nodes so it probably doesn't need a proper climbing see as you can see they have only got tiny little roots there it's not really a, a, a nodes that actually give but to propagate it obviously you cut it in half and make sure that you've got leaves or it depends how long you want it and then you soak it in water until they have roots but it is quite touchy because like I said I tried it before and it didn't quite work for me so anyway guys I hope you like that and this is my second propagated not propagated transplanted or planted repotted uh, plants today so there you go I hope you enjoy that as I enjoy doing it and enjoy videoing showing to you as well so it is in this lovely decent sized pot which will be here for a long time i don't need to repot it because it is it's got a lot of room so let me just quickly show you my other climbing plants this is two types of pothos one is called a jessonia which is half marble pothos and half green so this is actually quite hard to get it doesn't come easily there is so much marble queen pothos but not this two this two tone or one side so this is actually my very first climbing that i build up this I've, I've done a little bit roughing i didn't really do a good job but they seem to be okay now on the other side another plan this is the snow queen or this, not the marble queen pothos because all the leaves are all in marbled see so there's two plants in here so one plants one side like so there so that's the marble queen process guys that's on that side so as you can see all the leaves 
are covered in a cream splotches in lime and gray or silver so that's my one side and then on the other side is the half half which is the jessonia which is a lot more rare than the marble queen pother so i'm actually quite glad to have one i didn't realize it before until i did a little bit of research for the different types of pothers so that's my other climbing plan that's doing absolutely fantastic and i also have another one that i want to show you next to it is my philodendron brazil now i bought this one a couple of months ago it is a slower growing plants i bought it when the leaves were all this color which is meant to be what it means is that it has been in the light for too long and that's why it didn't give any good variegation but since i planted it here the leaves on the bottom it's starting to turn out green so it's it's slowly changing its color to its normal color so it's usually supposedly the brazil has this dark green around with lime green inside so that's the brazil um like i said i i did a rough um climbing pole in here so hopefully in time i can repot it and put it in a better better condition oh i've got my parcel today yay look at that <laughs> i've got to have a look i didn't even realize i had it there okay so this is what it means to look like a proper perfect variegation of a brazil brazil um philodendron brazil so this is the new leaves that i've got since i got it so i've got three leaves the new growth see how there's dark green and then you've got the light green and you've got the lime in the middle so that's how it's supposed to look like when it's not burnt um like i said it's the color is starting to turn the bottom see i'm not sure if it's going to be completely changed but at this stage it's looking great this has given me a couple of new leaves as well on the other side so there's one and there's two there we go so a new one and the rest are old leaves that i've got but it's turning absolutely fantastic so i'm really really glad with these lovely plants so this is my other pothos but it's in the philodendron family so guys thanks for watching we'll get back to my other plants and i've got to unbox my parcel all right guys i actually uh replanted repotted the other um neon pothos off camera since you've already seen how i do my repotting i thought i'd just do this quickly separately and then i'll just show you what i've already done so i've just put back the original climber just for now because i need the um, plants to be setting up erect so this is the, the other climber the smaller baby one so as you can see there's a small one down here that i planted on the base which will be climbing up in time and there is the this size which is perfect for this climber because it is the same length so this one i'm going to sell this one so i will be able to share to other people i'm not exactly know how much i will sell because i did buy them quite expensive so i don't know how much it will be so uh, anyway that will be a little on idea of how much so i'll just see how much people sell them actually for this tiny and then see if i can uh, do the same now it has got a terracotta pot pot that i have chosen um so let's see what happened now i'm just going to grab a little bit of water and pop some water in the base to give it a bit of a drink now my fish tank is running out of water soon so i'm going to have to um add some water so there we go drink my little baby oops i think i've put too much in it the soil's coming off which i should have it standing up not down all sideways there we go cleaned up again Let's just wipe it off so this is my number two climbing neon pothos i did have one before but it didn't survive for me so i hope this one will um, with a better soil mixed and some fertilization i hope it helps the plants okay so we're done watering we'll just leave it there for now to soak down the ground 
It has got a holes on this one, so that's a good thing. It doesn't have a base, but I do have a base with, with this one somewhere else, so I'll just have to find it. Ah, oh, yeah, I'll make a mess more. Okay, all right, I've just cleaned up the excess water that I got on the leaves, as well as the dirt. So now I'm going to place this next to the other one. All right, so here's my first, here's my baby one, and then the other one just on the top. There we go for now and then I'll show you my previous one that I done earlier which is my Swiss cheese Adansoni so there you go guys I found some pole that I added into my Swiss cheese Adansoni so it's all the way to the very top um, there's lovely leaves the young leaves on the top which I will just place in there oops oh dear where did it go? You in a sec? Okay, I found it. All right, now I am going to not to wrap the yarn around it because I'm going to be this one, my very first um, climber that I'm going to make. So I'm going to use this pole as a base and then of course the yarn and the cocoa hash and also the um, sphagnum moss around it. So hopefully, what I have in my head I can put it into action and show you exactly what I meant okay so this is my Swiss cheese Adansoni already repotted and on a pole so waiting for the proper climbers now this one actually the type of plant that does need that um, proper climbing pole because they do grow aerial roots and they do want to attach themselves into it so this is one why I want to do it first so I can have this lovely vein here or root to climb and live so independently um, if I do in time wants to propagate it it's already got established root because it's already growing in my DIY sphagnum uh, cocoa hash um, climber okay so unlike the neon Unlike the neon, it doesn't necessarily need an actual proper um, climber as such as in having a material or cocoa hash or sphagnum moss in the actual climber because it doesn't produce that um, roots that wants to dig, it just wants to climb. So I suppose they are like a hanging plant but I want to have it up so that's why i'm trialing it up so it looks really nice i mean i could add some more in here and have it dangling down later on once i have more plants to propagate so we will wait on that one i don't really want to trim this one i don't want to cut it because from my other experience i got a bit too scared so maybe i'll just wait for a new baby that comes along just like this one see how it's developed a new one under the roots under the base so I'll wait for that one to come give me another one then I'll put it on the base of my bigger pot so make it nice and bushy and looks super cool so guys thanks for watching this is my second uh, pothos um, repotting today and I'm going to unboxing of my new present that I have just received so thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more of my uploads